So in this video, we'll talk about using the My Open Math Gradebook. Now, this is the instructor version. If you're a student trying to get access to your grade, you're not going to be able to do most of the things here. These are the things that your instructor can do. So let's go to the My Open Math Gradebook, which when you open it up is going to be in this link on the left. So we'll click on it and it'll give us our list of students. If you then click on any student's name, it'll give you a complete record of what they've done in the course. If you click on any grade, like this one, you'll see the actual student responses. So remember, the assignments have a due date, and so this scored attempt is how many points they finished on the assignment before it was actually due. If they did some work before and some work after, the answers they entered after the due date will be under review attempts. As long as they did some work before the due date, the review attempts are also going to be saved, and you can see them by toggling this scored attempt. We'll scroll down a bit so we can see what's happening. Clicking on scored attempt will bring up a drop-down menu, and you can see what they did on the practice attempt. So here we see the student got 2 out of 13 on the practice attempt. And if we want, we can see their individual answers. Because these were answered after the due date, these were not graded. That is to say, these correct answers do not count towards their total grade. One of the other things you can do from the gradebook is you can see when and how often the student logged in. And you can also see the student activity log, what they actually did when they logged in. So you can see when a student opened up an assignment or a quiz. And you'll also be able to see if they clicked on any of the help links. Now back at the main page, we can see each of the grade categories. Now to save space, the individual assignments or quizzes might not be displayed. So we can expand to show them. And we can see now all of the homework assignments. And to avoid cluttering things up, we might want to collapse the scores back down. The term and final exams have to be entered by hand, so click to expand them, go to the exam column, click under scores, and you can type in the actual scores. Once you've typed in all the scores, click submit, and similarly, you could do the same thing for exam two. Click scores, enter the grade, submit, and then for the final, we'll expand. Scroll right to get to the grade column, click scores, enter the grade. And at the end of the semester, the weighted total gives the final course percentage. This would be the course grade. Now, sometimes a student will tell you that they've submitted work, but they're getting a grade of zero. So let's see how that might come about. So let's switch to the student account. Let's say they take a quiz. Now, the most likely possibility is they type something in without clicking on check answer or submit assessment. So let's type in a few answers. Now, they're supposed to check answer and then submit assessment at the end. But let's say they use the menu to exit out. So first they'll get a reminder that they need to submit the assessment. They'll get a reminder that things may not be saved if they leave. And they'll get back to the main course page. Now if they check the gradebook, they don't have a score. So now we're back in the faculty view, and we'll pull up the gradebook and click on the student name. Scroll down to the assessment, and we see the score is listed as 0 IP. The IP means that it's in progress. They haven't submitted it yet. But if we click on the score, we'll be able to see the answers that were actually entered. 
This key symbol will actually display the correct answer. And to give student credit for the answer, you can either type in the score or click on the full credit button. So we see the score changed from a 0 to a 1. As always, it's important to save your changes. So scroll down to the bottom and save changes. Now here's an important thing. Because the student hasn't yet submitted the assignment, the recorded score is still 0. And that's because the student hasn't submitted it yet. So we go back into the assignment. So there is this tempting looking button that says submit it now, but you might not have permission to submit it. Instead, you can just override the score and type in the new grade. Again, save changes. And now the student score has been updated. 